I will solve a pathfinder problem, which is very interesting problem. Here we have a chain and that chain is hanging from the two ends. It is making a profile of its own. There is a profile of chain. There is a mathematical equation. It's a hyperbolic function. We don't need to go into that detail. Now there is a chain. If I draw, there is a chain like this. Let this be the tension here. And let me write as T0, T0. So there will be a vertical component TV and there is a horizontal component here TH. Same is TV here and TH here. This chain makes an angle theta here at the two ends. I can write it as theta 0 so that it is not confused with angle which will be at any other position. Now it is the lowest point is distance d below the horizontal line joining the two hands where the chain is tied where the chain is tied or supported let mass per unit length of chain be mu which is m upon l l is the total length of the chain don't confuse l with the horizontal distance it is total length of the chain so the total weight of the chain will be equal to mu g l now this is the basic thing about the chain. Now I put a bead on the chain and this bead has a very small mass. It starts sliding without friction, comes to the lowest point. The assumption here is that because of the mass of bead, the profile of the chain doesn't get disturbed. It maintains the same profile. The shape of the chain is not distorted because of the motion of the bead or because of the mass of the bead at the different places when it starts moving from this and reaches the lowest point. I have to find what is the acceleration of bead at this point. So if we see at this point there is no vertical motion. This and this is the lowest point and this is the lowest point and this is the velocity say V T velocity here at the lowest point. And if there is a force on bead, say let, it, let the mass of bead be small m, mg, it has no horizontal component, so there is no tangential acceleration here, which is zero. But you can see there is a circular path here, there is a path along a curve, which has certain radius, say r, r, and let me write this r plus dr. In fact, this I am taking such a small portion that dr is tending to zero. If I take this small segment of the chain and try to equate the forces, I can get a relationship for the radius and the tension which is acting at the two ends of this small portion of the chain. And from there, I can solve the entire equation where from where I can find out what is the acceleration here. Tangential acceleration is zero, but I am saying acceleration which can be normal acceleration. And the value of normal acceleration is V tangential square upon R. So I need to find the value of radius of curvature here when the bead is just crossing the lowest point. So if I draw a blown up image of this part again and let me take this lowest point and this is a very small part of chain which I am taking. It's only a blown up figure. This is D theta. This is DS. This is chain. This is the part of chain. This is R. This is R plus DR. And DR is basically tending to zero here. So if we look at the forces which are acting, let the force if tension here be T2, let tension here be T1. And this angle is D theta. So this is T1 sine d theta and this is T1 cos d theta. Also d theta is very small so I can write it as T1 d theta and this is cos d theta when the d theta is very small this is effectively approximately T1 here and this is T1. This is T2 horizontal. So I can easily equate the horizontal forces which are acting on this chain which is T1 is approximately equal to T2. So one part of it, this equation I will solve, I will write this equation as k, I will use it later on. And let me now equate the vertical forces. 
वर्टिकल फोर्स ऑन दिस चेन विल बी इक्वल टू म्यू जी इंटू डी एस म्यू इज द मास पर यूनिट लेंथ इन टू लेंथ विच इज मास एंड जी इज द वर्टिकल फोर्स दिस विल बी इक्वल टू द वर्टिकल कॉम्पोनेट ऑफ द टेंशन दर इज नो वर्टिकल कॉम्पोनेट हेयर सो टी वन डी थीटा इज इक्वल टू म्यू जी डी एस सो टी वन डी थीटा इज इक्वल टू म्यू जी वॉट इज रिलेशनशिप ऑफ डी एस आर एंड डी थीटा डी थीटा इज डी एस अपॉन आर सो डी एस इज आर डी थीटा so d theta gets cancelled so t1 is mu g r and t1 is equal to t2 so i write in t2 is equal to mu g r this is another equation let me write this as equation b this is approximation which i have taken here because t1 horizontal component was approximately t1 so t2 is approximately equal to mu g r now what is the value of t2 i have found this equation from here i can find r and i can find the normal acceleration now if i find the velocity so i need now value of velocity and i need now value of t2 if i can get these two values i can get the value of normal acceleration which is vt square upon r r is dependent on t2 that is why i am saying i need the value of t2 So V T is very easy to get by energy equation. Fall in potential energy, gain in kinetic energy. Can I can straight away write so M G. This is mass of bead. G is gravity. D is the distance fallen is half M V T square. So V T square is twice G D. So I have got the value of V T square. Now I only need the value of T two so that I can get the value of R. To so get the value of T two, let me look at the chain again. Look at the half part of the chain. This is the lowest point. I write L P. This value is T two, and here I got T H, and there is T V. So if I equate the horizontal component, T H is T two. So I get the value of T two. But what is the value of T H? To get the value of T H, if I can get the value of T V, I can get the value of T H because This is tension here. This angle was theta, so this angle is theta. So tan theta is T V upon T H. So T H is T V upon tan theta. What is the value of T V? You, if you see the chain, the total force is mu G L downwards, and upward force is twice T V. So twice T V is equal to mu G L. So T V is equal to mu G L upon two. So T H is equal to mu G L upon twice tan theta, and T H was equal to T two, which we have already found. T H was equal to T two when we had compared the horizontal forces. So this is value of T two. Now what is the value of T two? Is nothing but mu G R. So mu G R is this. G mu G mu G gets cancelled. So value of R is L upon twice tan theta, which is the very which is a very important relationship. Now put the value of R here, and we get the value of thermal acceleration. So A M will be equal to V T square is equal to twice G D twice G D upon value of R is L into twice tan theta. So A N is four times G D tan Theta upon L. This is the value of the acceleration when it is at the lowest one.